Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. Hey everyone, a general public service announcement. I am aware that the audio has been a little bit dodgy in the past month. All I can do is apologize for that, but having just moved to the other side of the world, it's taken me some time to really get used to how the audio works. I have now actually, I believe, worked out the perfect audio settings, which is what you're hearing right now. However, it will not be taking into effect in this video. It should come in the following ones. This is really just to let you all know that the audio should be getting better in the coming days, but just know that this video will not sound as good. Thank you very much for your patience, and once again, I honestly do apologize. We're finally getting closer and closer to the all exciting Project Sunrise, and with it being such an ambitious goal, Qantas is preparing for the launch this year by operating direct research flights from New York and London to the east coast of Australia. These ultra long range flights will be research flights as I just mentioned, but your question might be why? Well through these flights from Qantas they hope to gather critical data in regards to crew health and comfort as well as passenger comfort. It'll no doubt allow the carrier to better understand just what those onboard experiences are like. Flying for 20 plus hours is no easy task, and the flights which take place in October, November, and December will actually be repurposed delivery flights. The planes will be carrying around 40 people, which will mostly consist of Qantas employees and health experts. As Alan Joyce said himself, flying non-stop from the east coast of Australia to London and New York is truly the final frontier in aviation, so we're determined to do all the groundwork to get this right. So what can those employees travelling on the plane expect? Well, lots of monitors. Qantas has said that those on board will be fitted with various technology devices to allow scientists and also medical experts to monitor certain things, such as sleeping patterns, well-being, your body clock, and other critical components, like how eating impacts them, and also how the in-flight entertainment affects your mood. It's going to be a comprehensive test to better understand customer needs. There will actually be three flights with new 7879s being delivered. The flights will be rerouted delivery flights as I mentioned. So instead of flying from Seattle to Australia, like every single other 787 has, they'll fly from New York and London to Sydney non-stop. No doubt a fantastic sight for those enthusiasts in those particular locations. The announcement is a big one, not just in the Project Sunrise scheme of things, but it will only be the second time a commercial airline has flown from London to Sydney non-stop, while it's the first time a commercial airline has flown from New York to Sydney without a single stop. Alan Joyce commented on the announcement and said, Ultra long haul flying presents a lot of common sense questions about the comfort and well-being of passengers and crew. These flights are going to provide invaluable data to help answer them. Adding, for customers, the key will be minimizing jet lag and creating an environment where they are looking forward to a restful, enjoyable flight. For crew, it's about using scientific research to determine the best opportunities to promote alertness when they are on duty and maximize rest during their downtime on these flights. Alan Joyce and the whole of Qantas is taking their commitment to a whole new level. He made it clear how no other airline has done this sort of thing, and it actually highlights their overall commitment to ensuring their customers are happy on these long flights. As we know, they've already been studying new cabins that would have study pods, exercise areas, and so much more. And while that isn't confirmed, it definitely shows you what they're really going for. This all comes from the one key requirement for Project Sunrise from the CEO, Alan Joyce, and that's being an economy class. He doesn't want to go down the Singapore Airlines route, which on their A350 ULR, if you aren't aware, does not have an economy class, and these particular planes are put on their Singapore to New York flights. Finally though, we did get an update, I guess you could say, regarding an announcement on the aircraft choice. Alan Joyce simply said it had come by the end of the year, which is definitely expected. However, with the recent news that the Boeing 777-8 is indeed going to be delayed, likely into 2023 or even 2024, what are your thoughts on the general situation and also these research flights? Do you believe what Qantas is doing is the best thing on a whole or do you think they could have just left it and waited? In my honest opinion, I think it is a brilliant decision and as they just repurposed delivery flights, it's much better than say sending a 787, which is as we know already busy on a Sydney to London service and pulling it off one of its already existing routes. 
With that being said, thank you very much for tuning into another one of my videos. And I do very much look forward to you all joining me in the next one.